Censorship in literature is nothing new, but in recent years, especially in red states like Texas, there's been a spike in calls to ban books within schools. I asked local public librarians where this censorship might be coming from. I think it's a, um, an outpouring of um, some of the awareness that's arisen about all the diversity, um, inclusion, um, the, you know, some of it's a variety of all the people we have. I think that it's becoming more popular. Um, like, if you go across any app, you'll see people are speaking out about how they don't like this book and it should be a banned. And then they're like, oh, well, I can do that too. Let me go ahead and ban the book since you're saying it's stuff like that. I think that's what's happening. I think it's more of just like a, it's popular. Some concerns about censorship include the hindrance of freedom of thought. I asked what that means for young readers and their access to literature. They are not going to be able exposed to the variety of information out there if um, there is a sec section of that book that has something controversial and that, then a, thus it's rated and then you have to have it in a different section and only you know certain people can check it out that way. Um, that's why we don't rate our books. If it's banned in a public school of some sort, it will never be banned at the public library. Um, there's a lot of challenges and details and steps it has to go through in order to get banned by the city. So regardless if you cannot find it in your high school library or your junior high library or your elementary library, we, the public library will most likely have that copy. And if not, we can get it for you. Although book bans are most prevalent in Texas, Local libraries make sure young readers have access to literature that is important to them. For Foghorn News, I'm Nemo Reverone.